Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Destiny. I'm Death or Above. Today, we're going to do a God Roll Guide on the Old Fashioned. I'm going through a lot of these old Year One guns that they brought forward in the Season of Dawn and using them, or giving them random rolls. And now we're doing God Roll Guides on them now because they don't have one static roll. They have a, a couple interesting rolls. Now, this is an Old Fashioned. I have not gotten an Old Fashioned yet. This is my son's account. We were playing yesterday. And I looked up, because I have a screen above me where I can see his gameplay, just because so many times he's asked me different things about the game, so I finally set it up to where I could watch his gameplay, and I was like, you rascal, you have an old-fashioned, and I haven't gotten one yet. So, this is the old-fashioned hand cannon. What I like to do in my God Roll Guide videos is take a gun in Destiny. We'll talk about it. Talk about the role I have on mine, then we'll look at the different roles that you can get, and I'll pick some God Rolls, pick some perfect roles, and pick some things I'm gonna be hunting for. So let me ask you guys a question before we begin this video. What role have you gotten on the Old Fashioned? Where are you farming it? Because as far as I can tell, the Old Fashioned and a couple of other of the returning weapons, you can only get a uh, random chance to get them. You can't actually get them from anywhere. You have to pull them from a, uh, from a Raul Ingram or just to get them to drop. Let me know if you know a better way than me. But uh, let's take a look at the one I got and then we'll look at the... Uh, the different roles you can get on light.gg while those guys work on that walker. So this is actually my son's old fashioned. Uh, this is the way things were. It is an adaptive frame, 140 RPM hand cannon that feels really good in PvP. I did take it into some Iron Banner, which you'll see in a minute. And I uh, had a very successful first match. Never mind the fact that it's on my son's account. And uh, it's a little bit of a different experience with that matchmaking. But what I've got is Crossfire, Sure Shot, yes please. Uh, appended mag, alloy magazine, That's slide shot, and surrounded. So not a god roll by any means. We'll the handling master orc, but still a pretty cool gun. I didn't throw any, uh, oh, I didn't even throw targeting adjuster in there while I was doing the PvP thing. But a uh, solid gun. I'm going to lock it up so he doesn't uh, delete it on me. But let's, uh, let's go to space and take a look at the rolls that you can get. Take a look at the stats right here. We have an impact of 84, range of 44, good stability at 55, handling 51. Reload 49, it is a 140, it does technically have a 9 round magazine, I've got one that gives me plus 2 in that. 65 aim assist, which is not that high for a hand cannon, it's a decent aim assist, it just, I think the recoil and the bounce intensity, since it has a pretty decent recoil and bounce intensity, make it feel really good, even though the aim assist is not that high. And uh, it does have some good perk combinations you can get down below, so let's just go ahead and stroll on down there i will note to you that the uh, color coding is a light.gg color coding for these general perks not actually on this weapon but that's what the community has decided yellow means they like it in pve and pvp purple means it's good in pve and red means it's good in pvp or at least that's what the community has decided so we'll go through the sites the mag perks and then the two perk trees right here uh <clears throat> sites let's see hit mark hcs Give you aim assist and range they like that one i like the sure shot for the range it gives you with the aim assist you get more range to aim assist but you lose handling and stability not that big a deal on this hand cannon the handling is already pretty good uh second one is fast draw you give handling stability and aim assist you don't get as much range that's why it's not pvp'd um Steady Hand HCS will give you handling, stability, and aim assist. Those two are good. Those two are very good. I had, I, there's not a site on here that's bad. Uh, True Sight will give you range, handling, aim assist, and stability. Then the Crossfire will give you range and aim assist, but you lose stability and handling, but not as much as you lose with the Sure Shot. The Sure Shot's definitely one that's going to give you the most range. So if you're going full PvP with this, Sure Shot's the way to go. If you want to do whatever, hit hit mark up. It's a good one. It gives you the range and aim assist. You don't lose anything. Now, Mag Perks. you got Tactical Mag. For the stability, reload speed, and magazine size. I think that's what I have on mine, or do I have a pended mag? I think I have, I can't remember. You guys saw it two seconds ago, you can tell me. Uh, tactical mag's good, steady rounds will give you uh, some stability. That's good-ish. Um, these, are, these are yellow, but it doesn't mean it's specific to this weapon, it just means in general they like these perks, I think. Uh, appended mag increases mag size, extended mag increases mag size even more, but you lose reload speed. I'm not a big fan of that one. Uh, flared mag will increase reload speed and stability. Accurized rounds is definitely a PvP focus first. I think for this video we're gonna we're gonna draw out a PVE and a PvP uh, loadout for this gun because I can definitely see two paths to that. Drop mag's okay. I like drop mag on primaries though. It gives you a lot of reload speed for uh, losing some ammo. Depending on what you're running, you may run out of ammo though with this one. I notice a lot of pulse rifles do end up running out of ammo. 
Uh, Allo magazine, faster reload when the mag is empty. So I definitely, in this perk tree, I like accurized rounds if you're PvPing. And I like tactical mag if you're PvEing with it. Now, perk combos. You got slide shots or reloads if you slide. Mine had that. I did use that in PvP a little bit. Not used to using it, though. Uh, it didn't strike me as a perk that I needed to have. You can get demolitionists on this, which I do like demolitionists for PvE. Uh, PvP, sure. Yeah, I can see that. Feeding Frenzy. That's the perk that I want, though. That's that's the one right there. Feeding Frenzy. I love it. Uh, firmly planted. They think it's good in PvP. I don't like it in PvP. I don't like firmly planted anywhere. Uh, quick draw. You can draw this weapon unbelievably fast. If you're playing with a shotgun... Uh, I can see quick draw being very useful in PvP. And then you have pulse monitor down there at the bottom. Auto loads, pre Auto loads part of the magazine when you're critically wounded. Not a big fan. Oh, the almighty kill clip. If you can get a feeding frenzy kill clip, old fashioned, I'm mad at you. Snapshot's good too. Man. Explosive payload. Surrounded. The one I got is surrounded. Uh, moving target for PvP. I like moving target. And then hip fire grip if you want to fire from the hip. Uh, this gun has a lot of good stuff going for it, and you're not going to be able to farm it very easily. But let me know if you got the god rolls. If I was drawing up a, just a straight up everyday all around roll, I would go hit mark, steady, or tactical. Probably hit mark, tactical mag, feeding frenzy, and uh, kill clip. If I was going PvP. There's a couple paths to PvP. I would go. I would go sure shot, accurize. But here I would choose between feeding frenzy or quick draw. Or in the second perk tree, I go kill clip moving target. Either one of those combos or any one of those combos could be good. So let me know what you got. I'm always interested to see what you guys get to drop and what you want me to take a look at next. What guns you want to look at? What guns did you got? What guns do you like? What are you doing in Destiny right now? What are you hunting? I'm hunting a couple things. But uh, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, do all the things that you normally do for all the YouTube that you usually YouTube. And I'll see you next time. See you bye.